Hello everybody, we are here with this Suzuki Bandit 600 from 1995 and we're about to do some uh, oil change, oil filter and uh, air filter replacement. Also we're going to take a look at the chain, clean it and lube it and uh, also replace the brake fluids because uh, the rear brake it's just going down without doing anything and also the brake fluid in front doesn't look too good so um, we will replace and uh, bleed out the, the brake fluid system. Let's get started with draining the oil. We'll open this uh, 21 millimeter bolt, have a look on the washer and this will need a change. It's basically welded to the bolt which is not nice. We're trying to find a copper new one. Till the oil gets drained we can proceed with the air filter element replacement and for that we will open the seat and then we will take down the, the reservoir two 10 millimeters holding the gas tank. So after you open the two 10 millimeters you lift up a little bit the tank and then you pull it backwards so you take it off from the front bracket. And now we should see with uh, the gasoline lines what should we do. Okay it took down the vacuum hose. Now let's uh, take down the gasoline feeder and hopefully it will not spill tons of gasoline. Hopefully that works like a closing valve. Oh yeah! No spillage! So I also took down the, the hose from this side as well. I prefer to do this instead of uh, just pulling it out from the frame. Seems pretty tidy. Undo these two Philip heads holding the air box and hopefully we'll gain access to the air filter which is located right behind here and ta -da! this is our air filter yeah worth changing it we have our new one here slide this back and then the cap let me just clean it a little. Okay, make sure the air filter stays in its position and slides down. Good. Don't rush, take your time. Okay, sounds like a good clock. Okay, put back the two Philip head screwdrivers back with the gas tank and then just push this back in, in its position okay and one by one just put the hoses back as they were okay now the, all the that all the hoses are back we can uh, slide back the gas tank yep in its position okay now carefully slide it back here put back the bolts here with all the rubbers and all the elements okay seat back we can continue with the oil filter now okay so before we take the oil filter I would like I would like to put the drain bolt back it's not an easy job to, to take down a very old washer which is almost welded to the bolt. Use a cutter or whatever makes you feel you're gonna do it. Okay, so we started moving the old washer. Okay, now with the new copper washer we put back the bolt. Okay, and don't over tie it. It's usually a 30 to 35 Newton meter bolt, which for such a big thread it's uh, not a big force. Don't need to be an animal. Now we can move forward this and uh, open the oil filter, which is located here. And we'll use our special tool for this. Just put it around and then tie it. Maybe we need to take this a little bit aside. Okay. 
Oh yeah, that's it. That's how we do it. Bring this back. Open this with our hand, hopefully. Yep, good. Okay, we'll let it here draining. Okay, just as we took it out. And I usually only hand tie these ones, so you only need to hand tie them. Maybe just put the special tool and give it a half a turn. Okay, maybe just because the position it's not a good one, you will need to actually tie this with the, with the tool more than you will be able with your own hands. Yes, yeah, so it's a Motul 5100 10W40 and we'll put back 3.3 liters and then we'll check the level and if it's needed we'll add another 200 milliliters after we run the engine and make sure that everything is okay. Put back the cap. The level looks good but uh, now it's the bike it's on a rear stand so uh, it's not leveled but uh, once we have the chain lubed and uh, tightened then we can uh, run the bike and take it down from the stand and then we'll check the, the level of the oil after the oil filter already was filled with oil so most probably uh, it will look lower than now. Now I want to um, turn on the engine and let it go for five minutes and then um, shoot it off, take it down from the stand and then finally check the, the oil level. <laughs> 